Welcome back, Dragon Ball Z fans. It is I, the king of Dragon Ball Z, on the real entertainment gaming. And today, everybody, this is part two, episode two of the Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit Let's Play. Right now, we're headed into chapter six of the Saiyan Saga, Nappa the Invincible. Let us begin. All right, oh my god. This game is just... The sequences are awesome. We're going to get right into this right now. All right, it's Nappa versus Krillin. Krillin? Really? Krillin? Krillin was great. You know, up until maybe the Cell Saga. Like, he pussied out during the Cell Saga. I'm sorry. There is no way anybody can refute that. I mean, he had balls against Frieza. You, you monster! Oh, no. At least Krillin's trying to kick his ass. Smile, smile, motherfucker. Metal shrimp. Get back here. This is going to be kind of hard because of his size. He's really fucking small. Anyways, um, Krillin had balls during the Frieza saga. I just I just don't understand why he didn't really, like, not help out, so to say, but, uh, you know, do anything during the Cell saga. Like, all right, he fought he fought the Cell Juniors. All right, big freaking whoopie whoop. But he didn't do much to contribute at all, you know? And that, that's what I feel like, you know? What the hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, I, I feel like Krillin didn't really contribute that much during the Cell Saga. I mean, he was just relaxing and always scared and whatnot. I mean, the only person that probably did anything amongst that group from the Z Fighters was Tien. You know, well, we're not including Piccolo, Trunks, we're not including all the all the main characters. We're just including all the side characters, you know? Oh shit, Krillin's fucking me up. What the I hope you're ready. Okay, you little manky, you wanna play, you little gerbil fucking bastard, you gerbil dick bitch? Anyways. Um, you know, Tien was the only one that did anything because he was doing the tri-beam attack to hold Cell off at least. Oh shit, why am I fucking falling through the attack? What the fuck? He's using his stupid dragon move, that's why. He Damn it, Gaga! What the fuck, man? He's roasting my ass right now. What the fuck is this? Alright, now you're screwed, little boy. Yeah, like, like I said, Tien was the only one that did anything, and you know he was the only one that put in work, while everybody else was just bitching and complaining. Anyways, guys, on to Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods. Now, for those of you out there who haven't already done so, check out my Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods review. You guys are going to hear some epic stuff. I saw the movie in, in, in well, Japanese, actually. I, I didn't go to Japan. My friend got a hold of the movie. I watched it with him. What the fuck is he doing? I got, whoa, that shit nearly fucked me up. Mega! I saw it in, in, in Japanese, and uh, let's just say that, um, you know, the voice acting was kind of there. You know, I'm not really used to Japanese voice acting, but, you know, I was watching it, and I was very intrigued, and uh, the, the person, actually, I, I didn't know the, the actor who played Goku was actually a woman, you know? What the fuck? Well, I was about to say. I, I, I didn't really know that she was a woman, so that's why I was a little so... Oh, whoa! I got fucking killed by Krillin! Oh, I, I gotta redeem myself for that one. I'm taking his little monkey ass out right now. Anyways, um, the voice acting was really, really... It was really good, you know? I, I, I thought it was gonna be crappy, but the Japanese version was good. It, it was a lot better than, uh... than the movie Plan to Eradicate the Saiyans. But, um, the only thing that was missing about Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods was the music. The music was just so dull, in my opinion. Like, it was just like, eh. I mean, it was traditional uh, traditional Japanese music, yes. But the fact that I, 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 I wasn't feeling it as much as I would the Bruce Falconer music or anything else for that matter. You know, it was just like, really? Like, this is it? Um, when Goku fought Bills, let me just tell you guys, I haven't seen a fight like that in a fucking long time from Dragon Ball Z, and I'm so happy that they play. That I'm so happy that they actually went back to their roots, you know, and they actually uh, told a story while fighting, you know, because everything made sense. I'm not gonna ruin what happened. You're gonna have to watch the uh, the review, and even if you do watch the review, guys, um, there are spoilers in the review, but the spoilers are good. And the only reason why I say they're good is because you get to gain more knowledge on what's going to happen next, you know? And actually, I feel like with spoilers, spoilers are always good because um, they always get to, uh, you know, make you a little bit more excited than usual, you know? Like, every time I, I watch a spoiler, so to say, like, it makes me want to buy or watch the product even more now just because I saw that because it, it has an interesting twist to it, you know what I mean? 
Like, I remember one time I, I looked up uh, the Gears of... Well, before Gears of War 2 came out, I actually looked up the Gears of War 2 ending. And I was so pumped about it that it made me want to play Gears of War 2 even more now. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, shit, you better dodge, Nappa. You better... Bah! Nappa's so big. Like, like, his freaking fists are, like, the size of, like, two basketballs. This guy's that big. He's freaking huge, man. I would not want to fuck with this guy in real life. Can you imagine Nappa was a football player? Jesus. What position do you think he play? Like, what? Uh, offense lineman? Defense lineman? Get the fuck out of here, Krillin, you punk-ass motherfucker. I want Bills in the video game. I want Whis in the video game. I want Super Saiyan God Goku in a video game. Now. Oh, shit. Calm down, Nappa. Oh, Krillin just shat himself. You pull down his pants, you're going to see a bunch of brown stuff. All right, well, we pretty much completed that. All right, we have, uh, well, we have some new dramas unlocked right now, which is good because you do want to progress through the story and play and see what's going to happen next. All right, Gohan's test. Look at his face in that picture. He looks like he's taking a massive dump on, like, Icarus. He's like, Icarus! Icarus! What the hell happened to Icarus? I, I, I really did. I forgot what happened to Icarus. Oh, my God. I was just watching Dragon Ball Z abridged the other day, the uh, the cooler saga, and it was just so funny as fuck. Dad. Yeah, let's go, huh? Since my dad. No, you don't, bitch. Okay. I just have to hold him off until my dad gets here. What? You're gonna try to hold me off? That's what I'm saying. Don't make me laugh. You stupid pinsqueak. Oh, he's about to crush him. He's done. Oh, 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 Gohan's putting up a fight. Like I was saying, I was watching Dragon Ball Z abridged, and I just thought about that. You know, I I I, I was just like, out of all the things that I've saw in Dragon Ball Z, what the fuck happened to Icarus? It, it was like that one part where that French guy was like, Jacques Levy. Why, I sent a big power level in the cave, but it is only the dying monkey and the pig. Wait a minute, could it be? The legendary super swine? I started dying, I swear to God, I haven't laughed that much in freaking years. The legendary super swine? I was like, really? You're calling the legendary transformation of a Saiyan the legendary super swine? That was beyond funny in my opinion. I was like, oh my God, I nearly peed myself. Dragon Ball Z Abridged, Dragon Ball Z Abridged is actually pretty good. I would love to see a parody for a Battle of Gods, because Battle of Gods had some funny stuff in it, too. Like the part where Majin Buu is fucking with Bills. My, my, my friend kept laughing the entire time. I, I didn't laugh one bit, and they were, I mean, because I, I didn't find anything funny. And, and, and he's Chinese, so he understood everything that they were saying. So he told me that there was a reference where Majin Buu was looking at Bills, and he was like, Really? This pink cat has more power than me? Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Like, Majin Buu was really freaking messing around with Bills. And that's why Bills got so freaking angry, because Majin Buu was, like, pretty much making fun of him. You know, he was calling him, like, a, a stupid purple cat and stuff like that. It was just funny as hell. And then Goku, when Goku first met Bills, uh, my friend told me that he referred to him as, like, a, a, a purple bunny. And, and Bills said that, no, he's not a rabbit or a cat. He's like a, he's, he's, he's a specific race. I don't know what exactly it is, like what kind of, I forgot the name. I, I have to go pick up the name exactly, but he's a, he's a, he's a protege of Whis. And um, just let's just say that, that that dude is just, oh my god, I, I love Bills so much, man. Bills actually proved me wrong on so many different levels. Because when I first heard about Battle of Gods, and I saw like this stupid rabbit on, on the freaking poster, I was like, really? What the fuck is this? Like a giant purple bunny? Like what's, what's he really going to do? Like this guy looks like a pussy. But then when I saw him fight and then the trailers and everything, I was like, wow. Bills actually looks like a threat. I'm not going to lie. And uh, I have a lot of friends who actually agree with me too because a lot of my friends were like, holy shit, like this, this dude Bills is like the real deal. Fucking Nappa, die already, you motherfucker. What the fuck? I'm going to die before Nappa. You got to be fucking dead. That's what I thought. I gave him a roundhouse kick. What's up, punk? What's up, punk? What's up, punk? You big beluga. Get out of here with that. Look at that. He just freaking Michael Jordan his ass. Yeah, you got a dribble dick, Gohan. It's okay. Why would you run? Oh, 
Oh, man. But like I said, guys, Majin Buu was pretty much making fun of Bills, and it was just great because, I mean, I didn't understand it because it was all in Japanese, but my friend was in tears. I was like, what the hell is so funny? There's nothing funny about them talking. He was like, no, you don't understand, dude. Oh, look at that. Look at, look at that picture of Goku. Goku's quiet rage. Look at that. Oh, my God. I always wondered if they were going to make a Dragon Ball Z bur uh, burst limit, too. I mean, I doubt it at this point because... uh. Raging Blast was so good, and then they made Ultimate Tenkaichi, you know, so. Alright, I gathered all the Dragon Balls, what the hell? What's with your face? Uh, what's with your face? I don't like it. I will never forgive you! Yeah! yeah! Oh, he's transforming Super Saiyan God. Imagine. Look at that. What? Is power levels at 7,000? Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Impossible. Oh, here we go. The infamous line. V Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Uh-oh. It's over 9,000. Oh, look what? at that. 9,000? It's over 9,000! It must be broken, because there's no way you're stronger than me. Oh yes way, my little my little giant ape friend with your tail. Can you imagine if freaking Nappa was able to transform into a Super Saiyan 4 hour? I I really do wonder how the fuck he would look like. Look at this, I'm schooling Nappa. And, and to think, guys, that I always thought that Goku was like the martial artist of the fucking universe, you know? That was until I was proven wrong in Battle of Gods. When I fucking saw that shit, I was like, how the hell is there a being that's oh whoa. I was like, how is there a being out there who's like, you know, far above Goku in fighting? Like, he knows every single art known to fucking... Oh, shit. Oh, he's gonna buttfuck me. No! Like I said, uh... Oh, come on, Goku, get up. Oh, shit, did he just blow everything up? No! No! What just happened? Uh... Just shut the fuck up, Nappa, you bitch. Anyways, um... You know, Whis, Whis is a lot more powerful than Bills, man. I, 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 I wonder what he's going to do in the second movie. Because there is going to be a second movie. I'm not just saying that because it's like a... Uh, it's not even considered a spoil if you want to think about it. I'm just letting you guys know there's going to be another fucking movie. And I just Kamehameha had fucking Nappa. How do you think Nappa should have died, guys? Let me know in the comment section below. Do you guys think Goku should have killed him? Or do you guys think Vegeta was, was doing a good job by killing him? Wow, stop fucking interrupting my Kamehameha's, you big prick. Oh, God, he's powering up. Come on. Whoa, how the fuck did he counter that? All right, this ain't going to end well. Back up, motherfucker. Wow, 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 really? Oh, my God, like, he's able to freaking teleport faster than I Do you not know who I am? I am the guy who fought Bills. I am the guy who pretty much stood up to freaking Kaioshins and shit and I fought Majins and Cell and Frieza who are you you big beluga to fucking test I'm gonna die holy shit it's cause of his freaking powers that's why there we go special finish eat a, eat a freaking Frank look at that you getting butt fucked okay. oh right in the crotch yeah you're done Nappa sorry buddy you can come back one day if you can then Vegeta Darn it! He can't fight anymore. Do it, Vegeta. Take him and leave this planet now. Ha! <laughs> like Vegeta would do that. Vegeta probably freaking would roll over his grave before he'd let Goku win and tell him what to do. And that's legit too, guys. My God, so much saving in this game. Alright, what's the next chapter? I know I'm fighting with you. There we go. Final battle beyond all limits. Do you guys think that their first battle was much more brutal than their second? Or do you guys think that their second battle was much more brutal than their first? Because I think during their first battle, they, I mean, the first battle was crazy. You know, they fought to the very end. The second battle, they, they fought to the very end, but, you know, there was a distraction, which was Boo. So, look at this. Two of the best characters ever. Oh, it's going down. It's going down. <laughs> you should be pleased. 
It's not often that a low class warrior like you gets to play with an elite like me. Oh, shout out, Vegeta. I guess now you can see that even a low class warrior can exceed an elite with enough hard work. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. What now, Vegeta, huh? You gonna cry? Oh, shit. Mega! Can you imagine right then and there, right? Goku was like, alright, enough games. He transformed into a Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, 3. Oh my god, do you know how pissed Vegeta would be? I, I think Vegeta would officially be like an emo, like he'd finally commit suicide after that. He'd be like, what the fuck? Goku's a super- I'm kicking his ass already, look at this. Come on, Fine. This is the Kaioken. Kaioken. Don't you mean freaking Super Saiyan God? I, I always say that shit. Every time I see Kaioken, I'm always thinking about Super Saiyan God. What the fuck? That wasn't fair. What the hell did he do that hit me? Wait, he freaking growl? Is that really your limit? I mean, you want me to transform or something? Maybe then I can be able to shut you up. I, I can imagine if Goku did that, he fucking just transformed right in front of Vegeta. Hey, Vegeta, watch this! What? <laughs> Super Saiyan. You know how pissed Vegeta would be? I know I'd be pissed. If I had a fucking rival, and he was a lot stronger than me. Like, and, and was able to surpass me in every fucking level. Look at this, I'm fucking Donkey Kong my way around him. Oh yeah, bitch. What the fuck? Oh, oh, okay, you wanna do galley guns and kamehamehas, huh? Uh, how is he able to teleport like that? Looks like you've reached your limit. So, I'll leave you with a little something before you die. What the hell? Oh, what the hell did I press? This is the true power of a Saiyan Elite! Oh, yeah? I really do think in my heart of hearts that these two should have a third battle. Either as Super Saiyan 3s or as Super Saiyan 4s, whatever you guys want to call it as. You know, even even though Super Saiyan 4 isn't considered canon, they should do another movie. They they should do like a a DVD movie at least. You know, it it, it could be called the Final Battle, like Dragon Ball Z, the Final Battle, Vegeta versus Goku or something. Like you know what I mean? Or or at least they could be uh training in the hyperbolic time chamber together, which, which actually ultimately leads up to the point where you you can I guess you can consider them fighting each other at the hyperbolic time chamber. Okay, this guy's fucking pissing me off. There's no way I can do anything. He's incredible. Even when things are this bad. Well Goku, you need to quit fucking complaining and fight, damn it. This game came out in like 2008, I believe, so Oh what the fuck just happened? I really gotta take Vegeta out quick, man, before he takes my fucking ass out. Mega! Not today, little man. Mega! I'll do as many Kamehamehas as I have as I fucking have to. Look at that. He's he's gonna go down eventually. How was he not there we go? I don't know what he was doing right there, but Look at that, Vegeta, you went down. I don't need this planet anymore. I'm going to demolish you along with the rest of the earth. Oh he's mad. Oh shit. I love this when he did this. He never did any galley guns after this, honestly. Got to try it. Mega! Oh shit, Super Saiyan God is here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Mega! Go ahead, Vegeta, do it. That definitely looks like Super Saiyan God. Oh my! I, I'm still disappointed on like his overall design of Super Saiyan God. But look at this epic, epic! Come on, Blue! Come on, Blue! Bam! Oh, look at that! Vegeta must have been like, "What the fuck?" I always wondered how did that not kill him? You know? You did it, Goku. You scarred Vegeta for life. Good job, good job. I did it. Oh, you sure did. 
Oh my goodness. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching this episode of Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit. Um, if you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all all the latest Dragon Ball Z news information updates. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give this video a like. Help spread this video to uh, to get the word out. Look at this. The Frieza Saga. Ginyu Assault. Leave a comment in the comment section below, guys. Stay tuned for the next and third episode, everyone. Uh, like I just said, help share the video, guys. Help spread my channel. It's actually going to you know, do more, uh, more good than anything else. So uh, thank you, guys. And on that note, I'll be seeing you all later. Peace.